for Jefferson, the idea of uh, the way he thinks about slaves is as a captive nation held unjustly. This is important. Slaves don't deserve to be slaves. They're not naturally slaves. They are slaves because of, well, Jefferson would like to blame George III and his predecessors for sanctioning the slave trade. We have them, but it is an evil institution. It's unjust. The solution is to end the state of war that is slavery. It is a state of war. It's a cold war of a violent, coercive institution, the very antithesis of Republican government. In fact, his big concern about slavery is that young men in Virginia will grow up in a world of slaveholders and that will be their school. They don't have public schools in Virginia in the antebellum period. Instead, they're gonna learn how to be slaveholders. They're gonna learn how to tyrannize people who are older than they are. People as old as we are. Kids, because of race privilege, because they're white. That's horrible from Jefferson's perspective. And what we need to do is break the chains emancipate the slaves and send them someplace else. So he would have seen a union down the road eventually that would have been a union where black people would have been removed from this They union. would have been removed. And you know, he ultimately, this is in the best of all possible worlds and Jefferson's a patient guy. It could take generations. He's not gonna happen in his lifetime. He keeps pushing the date off. But eventually, people will see the light and emancipate slaves and send them, well, he doesn't know where. Maybe the West Indies, maybe West Africa, but in the best of all possible future worlds, the former slaves, the freed people will govern themselves. And then as an independent self-governing people, they can form unions. 